Okay, mental camera, press record equals car. Now then, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I just pushed record, and there's the mental. And here comes a car. It works every time. It's a scientific fact. Scientists have been working on this theory now for years, and there's the car. It works every time. Right. Joking apart. Borada, Sitwiti Tinyown. I'm back. I'm back at the mental. <laughs> See if my mate's here today. No sign of him last week. He's hiding. Playing hide and seek. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. Absolutely beautiful morning. Anyway, obviously, basically, as you can see, back at the mental. Reporting on nothing going on. <laughs> Just reporting on. Oh, what's that there? Reporting on the place just falling to bits. Yeah, so anyway, um, anyway, obviously, basically, when you think it was just, it's a 50, 50 acres, I think, something like that. I'm not too sure, 50 acre site. Um, and it started off just at 200 beds. That's all it started off as. When they laid the foundations, it was just planned for 200 beds and in the mid-1950s there was about, give or take, 1,500 patients in this place. The beds were that tightly packed together that the patients had to get in and out from the end of the bed. And here's another car. It was that, that full there. As I say, just 200 and there was 1,500. And there was over 1,000 employees in this place. It was the biggest employee employer in, well, it would have been Wales, if not Britain at that time, in them days. Over a thousand staff. So it makes you think, doesn't it? And it's had a few owners. Hey! There he is. If I can zoom in on him. Where is he? There he is. Mr. Security, give us a wave. Hello! Hey, see me. You won't give me a wave. He's thinking, oh no, he's back. At Denby Vids felt there is a standoff. I'm security. Hang on, you I've got this on full zoom. Don't mess with me. <laughs> he gives me the standoff, but and he's going off going off on a wonder now. Where is he? There he is. I don't know why he doesn't want to know. He doesn't want to even come for a chat or give me a wave or anything. He's probably thinking, oh no, he's back at Denby Vids felt. He can't keep away. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so over the years, it's had a few owners. They've took it over and what have you. And just before Denby Council, um, they issued... Well, just before Denby Council, the owners before Denby Council took it over, they issued the owners with a, an urgent works notice on the front buildings there. You can see the shiny... Look at the shiny roof there. <laughs> they said that they needed works needed doing. And these, these owners were saying, oh yeah, we'll do this, we'll do that, but they were doing nothing. The place was falling to bits as it is now. And Denby Council said there's the urgent works notice and they ignored it. This is oh, whatever. And uh, so they went ahead, Denby Council, DCC, put a new roof on it. 975,000 quids worth. And they sent the owners the bill and the owners disputed it. They said, no, it doesn't cost that much. It didn't need doing and blah, blah. <laughs> and at the end of the day, they didn't pay it. Where is he? He's hiding behind a tree now. He's going to play hide and seek with me. Yeah, the owners, they disputed and the, the Denby Council didn't get their money. So what they did then, there he is. They, uh, they served a um, compulsory purchase order on them. So that they were going to take over the mental off them. So what they did, then the then owners, they rushed it into an auction. Is he... Uh, Gonna give you a standoff. Yeah, they put it in an auction. They tried to sell it so they could get, you know, get the money instead of Denby Council taking it off their hands and losing the place. They tried to sell it and they put it in the auction, but their mistake was they put a reserve of 2.25 million. That's two and a quarter million reserve on it. And it did get bids, but it didn't get the reserve price. So they didn't sell it. So then by that time, Denby Council, 
took it over, took it off, the, off their hands, so they, they would try a bit of a sneaky move. But as I say, their mistake was they put it in at 2.25 million reserve price, and it did get, get did get bids. I'm not sure off the top of my head how much it you know it, how much the bids were. But uh, <laughs> where is he now? Oh, I missed him now. Where's he gone? I've been talking. He's I think he's gone around the back of the uh, nurses home. Yeah, so that was their mistake. They tried to quickly sell it before Denby Council could get their hands on it, but it backfired on them because it didn't reach the 2.25 million. So anyway, Council have got their hands on it now, Denby Council and Jones Brothers are here. They've got all their, their offices at the back there in Napa. They're not doing nothing with it, absolutely nothing at all. They're going to convert the front buildings into dwellings, I think. I, I've... It's like flats it'll be, and then there's 300 houses, they might have a pub here, and the bowling green or the cricket ground or something like that they're going to do, but it's been like this for years now. But as you've seen, they've got security here 24-7, which is, I've said it once and I'll say it again, it's the best thing they've ever done. It's ridiculously dangerous in there now. Where is he now? <laughs> I thought he was hiding behind the tree, but he's got, I think he's gone around the back of the nurse's home, but... Yeah, but it's just uh, falling to bits, basically. But they're thinking, if, any, if work does happen to... The new roof they put on, that skin, that's only temporary. And that's 975,000 quids worth. But they're thinking, with the planning and what have you, that they can put the new roof on top of that, so it'll be, like, double skinned. Hey, there he is. Made an appearance. But he won't give me a wave. He's doing a good job, fair dues to him. Doing his rounds. Fair play to him. Yeah, so uh, they're thinking that they can, you know, like uh, put uh, all the rest. That's it, the only plate that. I don't know about the chapel. The chapel to the back there, the morgue and the isolation hospital, and the Allied ward and things like that, and male eight and things there. and. All the rest of it, I thought they were going to keep, well originally they did say they were going to keep the nurses home, but the only part that they're going to save is the front buildings. <laughs> Watch this space though. Whole the rest of it, the whole lot's going to go. It's all going to get demolished. Um, and like I say, it's housing and stuff like that, but it's nothing's happening at the moment. But yeah, that's, uh, they, they tried a bit of a sneaky move. 2.25 million, two and a quarter of a million. That's, it's the, they put a reserve on it, but it didn't get it, so they lost out. So, uh, is he coming around the front of the. Oh, no, he's, oh, he's coming around the front. He's doing a good job this morning. He's having I mean, inspecting the front of the nurse's home. Yeah, and the nurse's home, out of the whole of the complex, that was in pretty good condition. It's on three levels. He's <laughs> going give me the standoff now. Yeah, it's on three levels, and it was in pretty good nick. But uh, it's gone now, the roof's gone on it there. Seeing the slates are missing and that, so it'll be absolutely knackered inside there now. But it would have made a good little, little hostel or little whatever. It's three floors and it's rows of rooms. Different sizes and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't think I'll put, go down to the front gates. Nothing much happening there. So anyway, as you can see, Mr. Security is doing his rounds, doing a good job there. So anyway, obviously, basically, I will love you and leave you, and I'll see you again. As always, you know, if you if you're interested in the mental, if you're a new subscriber or new to my channel and what have you. If you're interested in the mental, I, I, this is what I do. I've done it for 25 years. I've been documenting this place. I said it once and I'll say it again. A quarter of a century I've been documenting this place. And I ain't going to stop anytime soon. So if you're interested, you know, subscribe if you want to. Or just check my channel, North Wales Hospital videos. Updates. Uh, I talk about stories, anecdotes, tales and stuff like that my experiences as a, as a child with the patients and stuff like that so uh yeah so as i say if, you, if you're interested if you if you're a new watcher on my channel doing a good job there lad
you know, subscribe if you want, it's up to you. I've never, that's one thing I've never done is ask anyone, oh, you know, please subscribe or whatever you, you know, I like leave it up to people. You know, I think they, they, they can make their own minds up, can't they? If they want to subscribe to a channel, they don't need to be asked or they don't need to be told or what have you. So, yeah, anyway, obviously, basically, shall I go down to the front gates? Uh, no, I won't. Um, nothing much going on. I won't go to the cinder track either, which is haunted, by the way, <laughs> just in case I never mentioned it. But, um, yeah, like I said, you know, it's I've been doing this now 25, 25 years. It's just something... It's a passion, shall we say. You know, it is uh, just something that I got into. And uh, as you know, I say, I'm, I'm not going to stop anytime soon. So, anyway, obviously, basically, um, I will love you and leave you. And I'll see you in... Well, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again.